Hey kids, it's Monday, September 26th, and that means it's time for another video update. I've had a busy week. I worked from Tuesday through Thursday really late each night, like 1130 late. And so by the time Friday rolled around and I woke up, I was like, uh, <laughs> so I thought I was going to have to work late Friday. Luckily, I didn't, which allowed me and my husband to go to a drive-in movie. We're trying to find stuff to do as a couple together, different stuff. You know, you kind of get into a routine after being together for so long. So we have one drive-in in our state, and it's called Benji's. And we hadn't been there since we first started dating eight years ago. So it was nice to go again. Uh, they don't want you to bring in outside food. Yeah, uh, we snuck a pizza in under the seat of the truck. And so you have to get there like when the box office opens. Otherwise, you have trouble finding a parking spot because it fills up. They were showing three movies and it was $10 a person, which was a really great price because you can't go anywhere anymore and see three movies for $10 a person. So they were showing the kids movie Storks, the movie Sully with Tom Hanks, which is the whole reason we were going. And then they were showing Suicide Squad. And that wasn't until like 1115. So we didn't plan on staying for that one. But we got there, and the Storks movie was actually really cute for a kid's movie. I enjoyed that one. And then Sully. Oh, my God. If you have not seen this movie, go see it. It was very intense and emotional. Um, it made me tear up a couple times because, first of all, you know it's a true story. You know it really happened. Second of all, you get to see the side, you know, from Sully's perspective, which you don't get to see that in the news. All you're seeing is what the news reports. It was really, really good. And I didn't really know like the whole story. So I loved it. I loved it. I loved it. So that was fun. So we did that. And then Saturday, we went to the Orioles game with another friend of ours. And that was a lot of fun too. Uh, it was like free sweatshirt night giveaway. So I got an Orioles sweatshirt and that was cool. And they won, so that was cool too. Uh, but yeah, just a busy weekend. And then Sunday, mm, you know how I love the grocery store. Seventh circle of hell, people. So the night before at the ball game, I don't like to carry my purse to the ball game because I don't want to hold it. I'm yelling, I'm screaming, I'm jumping up through the whole game. So I don't want to hold a purse in my lap. So I gave my husband my driver's license, and my debit card, because you never know when you're going to need those items. We're in the car on the way home, and I'm like, don't let me forget to get the driver's license and my debit card from you, because the next day, which was Sunday, I had a massage in the morning, because I get a massage every two weeks, and then I was going to the grocery store, since I was already out. So I know you know where this is going. So I go to my massage, I go to the grocery store, all the shit in my cart, I get up to the line and it's time to pay. I open my wallet, what do I see? No license, no debit card. I'm like, eh, ever. So luckily I had my credit card. Now, the one time they wanna ask for ID with my credit card. I'm like, are you kidding me? You know how many times I've used my credit card and they never asked for my ID. I said, ma'am, I don't have my driver's license. So I start to explain. And she's like, well, I have to go get my manager. And I'm like, I have $180 worth of groceries sitting in my cart, currently melting. She goes and gets the manager. By this time, I'm on the phone to my husband. And I said, bring, you have to bring my license and my debit card up to the grocery store. Well, he's throwing a fit. The manager, they're not going to let it happen. And the manager keeps saying, well, if you had your debit card, and I said, ma'am, if I had my debit card, I'd be paying with my debit card. I don't put my groceries on my credit card every week. I pay out of my bank account, my debit card. But ultimately, I blame myself for not getting my stuff back from my husband. Here on out, I'm bringing my purse to a game. I don't care. That was so. Then I have to leave my cart at the customer service desk full of groceries 
They suspend the transaction. I go outside to stand outside to wait for my husband, which takes like 10, 15 minutes. I'm just, I'm approaching evilness at this point. He gets there. I pay for the groceries and he like throws a fit, says the F word at the customer service counter. I'm like, his whole thing was that every time that we use a credit card there, which I have sometimes, they don't ask for ID. So, yeah. Mm. So that was a lovely start to the day. Um, yeah, that was, mm, no. And then, I'll have to tell you that little story later. I got my stitch mate, which I will show you. It's sitting right next to me. But some of the knobs are stripped because the stand is older. And so my husband said, well, why don't we go to Home Depot and we'll get you some new knobs? Like, I wanted some cool ones, like purple or red or something. Home Depot, in my opinion, is like the Michaels of the home improvement industry. We go to Home Depot, which hilariously, the Home Depot is right next to the Michaels in our area. Yeah. No, they, they had like just gold and silver knobs. I'm like... People are boring. So we're going to go to Lowe's today, I think, when he gets home from work and see if I can get some new knobs. But I might not be able to get some. So anyway. Okay. Oh, yeah. I forgot to mention last week that when I was in the UPS store mailing the Lowry to Jennifer from Delicious Threads, there was it was kind of crowded. So I had to wait a few minutes so I was like looking around and when I turned around, there are copiers behind me where you can copy your own stuff or even have them copy stuff for you. Someone was copying and enlarging five or six Mirabilia patterns. I said, so I kind of like stand back and I'm like, how can I walk over there without seeming nosy? So I was just like, la 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 turn around I walked over there holy crap and not only were they copying and enlarging like gypsy queen was there I forget the other ones it was a guy's name on the post-it now could be a husband copying them for his wife maybe it was a guy and this person is in my area that's UPS stores only like 10 minutes from my house so there's someone in my area stitching marabilias yeah I thought that was really cool. So I forgot to mention that last week. Okay. I am trying to think where to even begin. Oh, stitching bits and bobs. I did get an order from them of my threads. I will show you Carrie's creation threads. I was on there for some reason looking at DMC. Their DMC is 74 cents a skein. Seven, four. Michaels or AC Moore, it's like 42 cents. That's a big difference. 30 cents a skein. Yeah, I don't think I'll ever be getting DMC from there. I was like, oh my God. I couldn't believe it. I just could not believe it. Okay. Whip. This whole week. Now, you just heard me say that I worked late Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. I didn't care if it was 1130. One night it was like 1230. I was done work. It didn't matter. I was effing stitching something every night because the only night I didn't stitch last week was yesterday, Sunday, because I was just, I think the week caught up with me. I was in bed like 8.30. So yeah, I was up at 3.30 this morning. It's only 8 o'clock in the morning here and I've already been very, very productive. Got a whole bunch of shit done already. Ready, breakfast, laundry, I've already got a whole bunch of crap done. But yeah, I didn't stitch because I was in bed at 8.30. So anyway... I didn't care what time it is during the week. I'm stitching. Even if I get two letters or one length of thread done. So all week I worked on the Hocus Pocus cat spell. Now, my stitching eyes, bigger than my stitching ability apparently because I didn't finish it. I wasn't going to finish that in a week. But I got some done. Yeah. Yeah. Isn't that looking cool? Now, I did a little substitution. If you see right here, the star, I they had that stitched in white DMC. I decided that a star, and there's a moon on the other side I'm starting to stitch. 
I substituted yellow rainbow gallery petite braid. It's really cool. So, and I'm also, when I start stitching, there's like a row of letters here. When I start stitching these letters, I'm substituting that too. It was DMC and I'm going to use a Carrie's Creations thread. But that's looking pretty cool, right? Yeah. And that's going to be like my downstairs project. Like sometimes I feel like stitching in bed or stitching downstairs while my husband's watching football. And I can't use a scroll rod, so this will be on the Q-snap. And that little needle minder is from Cassie's Needle Minder. It's really cute. An enamel candy corn. Yeah, so that's all I worked on this week. But pretty good progress. Because, I mean, I only had that moon to stitch, one more line of words, and then the cauldron and the spell book and the three ladies. And then I'll be done that. So hopefully I'll have a finish here pretty soon. So that was all the actual stitching I, I did. Lots of plans, lots of haul, people. Because that's who I am. So, haul. Okay, my order from Stitching Bits and Bobs was like 30 skeins of Carrie's Creation threads that I ordered. Now, if you've never had her threads, um, they're really inexpensive. I think it was a dollar a skein. And they're awesome. So, I'll go through some of these because I've started to like be that person that substitutes colors and stuff because it's fun. And it makes your project unique to you, you know? Okay, so sea kelp, a nice green. Highland Hills. I don't know why I got so many greens, but now I really like this one. Strawberry Sunday. Yeah. Pinky brown. Buffalo fur, which is like a brownie burgundy sort of color. Hot pink. Speaks for itself. I don't think the colors are showing up right. Yeah, but you, maybe you'll get the picture. This is another favorite one, too. Caramel apples. I'm about ready to sneeze. Allergies. Ooh. Hurt not. Fresh grass. Bittersweet. And I also decided to sign up for the monthly bits from Stitching Bits and Bobs to get these threads so I'll get a collection done. Rosewood. I like that one. It's like a brownie, pinky, bleh. Ocean Blue. Really love that one. I love greens and blues and stuff. This one's pretty too. Harvest Moon. Like oranges and browns. Poppy. And her thread, it, I love it. I, I've stitched a couple of things and had her thread. Emerald. All these greens. Sea Green. I think I had in my head, actually, now that I'm thinking about it, I was going to do uh, Ink Circles Garden Stars, and they use, like, a ton of greens. I think I was just going to use these greens. This is Hunter. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be stitching that one anytime soon, so. Lemon Zip. I like the names. Orange Grove, which, ooh, that, look at that one. Orange, yellow, green. Pretty. This one is Stormy Sea. This one's really nice, too. It's hard. I know it's hard to tell what these really look like on camera. Mojave Fire. Fall Splendor. Teal Mist. Like I said, still going on with the greens. Crap ton of greens. Periwinkle. Viridian. Another green. Love that one. Clover, another green. I think I bought all the green she had. Cerulean, is that how you pronounce that? I know that's blue. Aubergine, love that one, purple. You know me in purple. Sassy, <laughs> a pink color. And Coco. So I got all those. And then I got a bunch of fabric. You know me. I love fabric. I love it. Now, I also sold a bunch of fabric. Um, I had done some on Stash Unload. Tracy P. bought some from me. Uh, I sold them all. So that just left more money in my PayPal account for buying other fabric. So I got some in the mail. I ordered a bunch from Fantasy Dyed Fabrics. Love her. Love those fabrics. And you get it like in two days. So I got this one. And I think I'm going to stitch on this one. The Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery Autumn. 
uh, I think that would look really good on there. So I got that one. And wait a minute, let me go through the fantasy dyed ones first. So I'll kind of do them in order. Now all these I've gotten are 20, 20, oh, cannot speak, 32 count Joblin. Yeah, I like that one. It's like a bluey gray. Looks kind of like the sky. This one, I think I might stitch on this one the uh, Snapdragon Pixie that just came out from Nora Corbett. Wouldn't that look good on there? Yeah. And I have that pattern coming from Leslie from Under the Sea Fabrics. Had to get that. And the embellishment pack. Here's another one from... Oh, no, that's not... Okay, that's all from Fantasy Dyed Fabrics. Except I do have one more, but I'll show you that in a minute. I got my first order of... Fabric of the Month from Color Cascade Fabrics in Australia. Really pretty teal. And then there's another one, too, that I, I'll show you in a minute, and you'll know why. I got my Fabric of the Month from Chromatic Alchemy. And this is just like a basic gray. I think on this one, I want to stitch the Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery Storytime Sampler, because that one has a lot of colors in it, and this is like a pretty neutral, plain fabric. And I think that would look really good on that. So we'll see. Lots of plans. Lots of plans. Not enough stitching time, however. And then I got my first fabric of the month order from Crafty Kitten. And what she does is, at least the option I picked, was you get the fabric of the month, and then you get one fabric from her regular line. So this was the fabric of the month, and this is 32 count Joblin. And then I got... The one from her regular line, I think this is called Pansy Impression. This is really pretty. Look at some of those pinks in there. Yeah, really like that. And then, I don't know about you, but when I have a shit week at work, which I pretty much had this week, although I made pretty good money, I buy stuff. Now, I buy stuff anyway, but I bought a bunch of patterns online. Got a lot of patterns. It's so easy to order off Etsy. Clicky click and you got it in your email. Now, I do have some needle minders first. Now, some of these are for mature audiences only. So if you have children watching, uh, have them look away for a minute. Kids, avert your eyes. Okay. These three, I won't say them out loud. These three are from Jennifer at Delicious Threads. And the lovely Catherine Dudman gave me a $10 gift certificate, so I ordered those three. Also from uh, Jennifer, got the other two Harry Potter ones, Hermione and Ron. This one, don't you love that, the milk and cookies? Got that from Nifty Needle Nannies, love that one. And then finally, I love ladybugs. I don't know if I had told you that. Ladybugs, bunnies, the color purple, yeah. This is from Abby Bella Stitch. She is now doing needle minders. So that is a clover with a little ladybug on it. So love those. And I've amassed enough needle minders now that I have to go to the second cart. My second Ikea cart. The first one's filled up and they're all even on the sides. Okay. Patterns. Look at that, people. Look at all those. Yeah. Now some of these I've had in my stash already but just never showed you. Uh, I was going through, I have a folder on my desktop labeled cross stitch where I keep all of my electronic patterns on. This is a really old pattern from Sandman Originals. It says 2006 on it. This is the Dinky Dozen Birds. That's a really small picture, but that's the biggest it came out. It's a bird for every month. And some people stitched them like single, like they would do like a little scissor fob or something. I think I'd like to stitch it them all together. Maybe I'll start that in January and try to do one a month and like substitute the colors for hand for dyed threads or whatever. It'd be really cool. Some of those are really cute and not that big. So I got that one. Well, I had that one. I already had that one. Now, I did buy three, four, four patterns from Fiddlesticks on Etsy. And I can't show you the pat the things because... It's just the pattern, but I have pictures I'll insert. 
The first one I bought is called Wizardly, which actually says there's no place like home. And a couple people are stitching this. Trisha is stitching it. I think Coffee Stitcher is. But I'll insert a picture of what it looks like finished here. Yeah, I see hand dyed threads all over that one. I'll be able to substitute a lot of threads. Yeah. So I got that one. And they're really reasonable price, like four bucks or something a pattern. Cheap. I also got the strange but special one. I don't know what drew me to that one. The book's on it. But I'll insert a picture of that one here. Yeah. Love that one. And then I also got geeky glasses. I just, I really, this just caught my eye because I'm a geek, let's face it. I was in high school. I'm not ashamed of that. Nobody should be. So here's a picture of that one. And then finally from Fiddlesticks, I got Faith, Trust, and Pixie Dust. Now, and here's a picture of that one. Okay, what drew me to that was in the pattern instructions, the pixie dust is all French knots. And you pick your own colors. A whole lot of nope on the French knots. There's no way in hell I'm doing that. But what I am going to do is I'm going to do them all in beads. And I'm going to get like that pack. Mill Hill has a pack. It's called Potpourri, where it's all different colors. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. That will look amazing in beads. Yeah, I think I, yeah, I have to do that one and do it in beads. Okay. I also got, oh my God, these patterns. <laughs> Um, oh, let me move some of these because i got to tell you about the biggest one I bought at the end. Okay. I also got, and I'm going to pull it out of the package because Bent Creek came out with Oodles of Autumn. I'm a sucker for autumn. My favorite season. Look at that. Look at that fox. Couldn't you just die? Yeah. So love that one. Had to have that. So I ordered that actually from the Silver Needle. And it even came with a little button. So that was cool. And yeah. So I got that one. And then I got some Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery patterns. Now some of these I already had. But some I didn't. So I had the Storytime Classics one. And like I said, I found that fabric. I know you guys have seen this. A bunch of people have stitched it. I really love this. I see now what I did. I'm ambitious. I decided I want to stitch all of the frames in a different hand dyed uh, thread. So I went on Mo's sale and I ordered some. Like the first block is Alice and he has a thread called Alice. So I got that. So I got a couple and yeah, I don't know when I'm going to start that, but yeah, you know, I got to prepare. Kit it up. Kit it up, people. Okay. I got the autumn one. Well, I don't know why that's crooked. But yeah, I think I'm going to stitch that next after I finish the Hocus Pocus cat spell as my small project. I just love that one. Look, she's, she's drinking a damn coffee. And she's got a headband on. Yeah, I think I'm going to stitch her headband in something glittery. Like a petite braid. Because I have a crap load of those too. Halloween spooky sampler. Love that one. Don't you like that little ninja? Look at him. Mm, he's so cute. And I like the one with the eyeballs. Yeah. I'm going to be substituting some threads here. That's going to be my new thing. Substituting threads for DMC. And I had to get this. I've seen so many people stitching it. The Let's Go on an Adventure. That is like the cutest thing. Yeah. Love that. And they still got three more months to come out. So. And then I got the Autumn Sampler. Now, I had this one already, so I just printed it out. Look at that piece of pumpkin pie. The coffee. Yeah. And the girl with the hat on. Oh, my God. Cuteness, just cute. I can't take it. Okay. 
Now I had stitched this pattern many, a couple years ago, three, four years ago, actually at a retreat. Plum Street Samplers, one of her daughters, Brianna, she, for a short time she had her own company called Hodgepodge Cottage and she had done a couple patterns. And this one is called Morning Brew. And when I stitched this, I actually stitched it on the fabric with the required, it's crescent colors. I can't find the stitched piece. God only knows. So I'll stitch it again because I really like the coffee cups, but this time I'll pick my own fabric. I'll pick my own threads. I got a crap load of threads. So, and I found that one on clearance on stitching bits and bobs. Cause I don't think she's doing patterns anymore. This is only like $4. So that worked. And then I also, now I had ordered this one a while ago, but the Plum Street Samplers Beans Beans chart. And oh my God. Now this only takes two colors, which awesome. She had this framed, not the model, obviously, but there, someone had it framed by Jill Rensel, the one that does the hand-painted mats, and I'm going to start a picture of that here. Oh my God, I got to do mine like that. Look at all those coffee cups. Of, yeah. So that's the plan for that one. If I live till, you know, 800, get to stitch all this stuff. Now... I, Casey Buonajario, I don't know how to say her name. She doesn't do patterns anymore either. All of her stuff's out of print. And I went on a search because I realized that there were three of her patterns that I didn't have that I really wanted. And believe it or not, I found them from a store in Singapore. Yeah, Singapore. And I just got them in the mail. Which was surprisingly quick because it's only been like a month. So I got Cherry Cheesecake Sampler, which this one's my favorite. There's a lot of specialty stitches in that, believe it or not. Look at those lazy daisies. I've never done that, so that'll be interesting. But yeah, really like that one. This one too I love. Chocolate Cake Sampler. Love it! Look at that chocolate cake. It's a lot of brown. But yeah. And then the last one I got from her was the Hot Cocoa Sampler. Now you can see the date of these patterns is like 2005 and 2006. So, so like 10 years ago. God, time is just amazing how it flies by. So the last three patterns I got, like if, as if that all wasn't enough. Clouds Factory. Loving them. I've mentioned them before because you know I'm stitching that Hocus Pocus thing. I bought the Gremlins Rules. Oh my God, I have to stitch that eventually because I love that movie as a kid. I like the words. Yeah. And like I said, even though I'm not a Doctor Who fan, I've seen a couple people stitching this. Now, I'm not going to stitch that on black because that surely is not happening, but I really just love it. I love it. And then, the last one I got. I drank the Kool-Aid drank the Harry Potter Kool-Aid. I know you all can see that. The giant Harry Potter sampler. The giant one. The big giant one that's 32 inches long or something. 32.3 to be exact. Now, I am going to stitch this as a sal with the lovely Catherine Dudman and Jennifer from Delicious Threads. We are waiting for our fabric to come in and actually my fabric should be here this week. We're gonna just have it really relaxed and just try to do maybe a few motifs a month, not have any pressure for it. But I ordered a piece of hand dyed fabrics by Stephanie and Spellbound. And here's a picture of what that's gonna look like. Yeah, how could I not pick that? Spellbound and it's Harry Potter? But this is like the most giant thing ever. That will be the biggest project I have ever stitched in my stitching career. Oh my God. And I'll be substituting like crazy for all kinds of crap on that. Oh my God, I can't wait. But what's frightening, I printed this out, obviously. Um, the pattern is... 
20, it's 25 pages. Yeah, 25 pages. Now, it's printed pretty big. And, but yeah, still, I've seen people have stitched it. Oh, man, it looks awesome. But holy crap. Yeah, so drank that Kool-Aid. So, look it at my notes. Okay. Before I show you my stitch mate and my plans for what I'm going to be stitching on that, because there are plans. So many plans. I wanted to mention a couple other things. Um, stitch Mania. Someone posted on their eBay, on eBay, a Riolis kit. Is that how you pronounce that? A Riolis kit on there someone had listed was $7,513. And yes, you heard correctly. 7000 What? I don't even know what to say to that. $7,000? You Kai? Smoking crack? They, mm, no. Uh, no. Okay. Moving on from that, because my brain's about to explode. A gentleman on the Hade board. And I don't know if it was posted on Stitch Mania or the Hade board on Facebook. His name is Mario. I don't remember his last name. But he is stitching a Hade on 11 count Ada. And I'm going to put a picture of it here because I saved it. Oh my God. Isn't that awesome? 11 count Ada, that thing is like a carpet, like a wall hanging, like cover your wall. Oh my God. Beautiful though. Yeah. I couldn't stop looking at that. I think my jaw dropped to the floor when I looked at that. Okay. And I just wanted to say that I really, really am loving the Sparklies fabric company. And the fabrics are great, but one of the best reasons that I love them is that they update you along the way. Like I, because I had, I sold a bunch of fabric, like I said, and then I had some money in my PayPal account. So I decided to go on there and order three pieces of fabric from her because so far I've only gotten the fabric of the month and I wanted to order some of her other fabrics because they're really, really pretty. And I ordered the fabric the one day and like I woke up the next day and already had a status email that said she was dying the fabric. I was like, holy crap, loving that. Yeah. So I'll put a link to them down below. So go check that, go check her website out because she has a lot of really cool looking fabric. And then I wanted to give one shout out to Rachel Danowitz. I'm in love with you, girlfriend. Her last video, loved it. She is just kooky and crazy and loud and excited. And I loved her video. I love her. If you have not, are not already watching her, and I know a lot of you do, go watch her channel. She gets just so excited about her stuff. And then it makes me excited. She reminds me of me. She's awesome. Okay. I got to move my cart back so I can show you my stitch mate. Because that thing came on Friday. And it was meant to be because I got done work early and I was able to unbox it and get it all put together. So let me move this out of the way. So of course I had to, you know, switch around all my stitching stuff. So I got to move my table. You could up close and personal with me. Okay. You can kind of see it. Okay. This is... The stitch mate. Oh shit, the pattern's on here. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, let me cover that real quick. With a piece of fabric. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> Forgot about that. Okay. This, as you can see, it swings in. Good lord. I didn't plan this right, did I? Okay. Like la la la, sitting here stitching. If I want to get to the back of my fabric, Real easy to turn it over. So, and then when you want to get up, you just swing it out of your way. And I don't know if you can see, this is the chart holder. This moves around too, and I currently have scissors and a highlighter on there. 
And then underneath here is like a little accessories tray. I have my Oort thing and like a boo-boo stick. Which, by the way, my husband went to stick in his ear to clean his ears the other day. He about died. Because I about killed him. I turned around, he had that thing in his ear. I said, what the hell are you doing? And, no. Mm-mm. Yeah. So, you can see it's all made of wood, and it's really, really good quality. And the stand came with five sets of scroll rods. And two sets of sidebars, so I can have two projects going at a time. And, uh, yeah, we're going to go get some new knobs, I think, like I said earlier today. Okay, so, plans for stitching on this. This fabric is a fabric I had gotten from Color Cascade also. This was one of her fabrics of the month. Isn't that a pretty blue, like a teal? What I'm going to be stitching on that, and I'm going to start it today, is Nora Corbett's Electra. Now, I'm going to do some changes because you know me, changing everything, right? I hate the color of her wings. It's like four colors, gray, and then like three shades of green. Nah, that's drab. That's blah. So... I ordered three different shades of, or four different shades of petite braid in different shades of orange. So I thought I'd convert her wings to all sparkle braid. See how that goes. And then, like, you see all the outline here? It's all black. What I thought I was going to stitch it, I was going to convert it to gassed cinders. It's like a purpley red. I get tired, that didn't focus, okay. I get tired of stitching with plain black. That's just me. And then the very first color, because I always start in the middle when I stitch those, the very first color you actually stitch with is DMC 838. I'm converting that to Weeks Dye Works Chris's Bonbon. This is my favorite, and that didn't focus either, god damn it. This is my favorite brown color. It is like a chocolatey, rich brown. Really pretty stitched up. Lizzie Kate's Eek Boo Hiss that I stitched uses that color. It looks really good stitched up. And I thought to myself, I need to start keeping notes and keeping track of the different changes I make and fabrics and when I start stuff because I currently don't keep track of any of that. So... Trusty Dusty Notebook. And I wrote my notes down for it. The date I started it. The fabric. Oh, I'm also converting. The moon is like in a shade of gray and white. Nope, not doing that either. I converted it to this petite treasure braid. It's like white sparkly. That should look good, right? So yeah, wrote all that down. So going to start keeping track of that. Stuff like that. And then I have on a, the other set, the other sidebars, I'm going to restart this finally, Aphrodite. Now see, because it's scroll rods, I can beat as I go along, because all I do is just roll it up. So the stitch mate is going to be for Mirabilia's, because I've been dying to get back into stitching them, and I don't know why I haven't. I just haven't. So, yep. Gonna start her, gonna start Electra, and here's the fabric I'm going to stitch the mermaid on. It's a fantasy dyed fabrics, and she doesn't name her fabrics because they're like a one-off, but it's this pretty one. Isn't that pretty? Like different, it almost looks like, it reminds me of a globe because it looks like water and then land, like grass, the green, really pretty. So doing those, lots of stitching. Lots of stuff to be doing. I think that's it. Oh, no. I wanted to mention my manicure. I do Jamberry now, which are like the vinyl stickers. And it's a learning curve. Like, it took me a while to figure out how to do them the right way so I didn't get, like, uh, wrinkles and stuff in them. 
I don't know if you noticed, but this one, it looks like apple pie. Like, you know how you put the strips of dough on the top? And then the other ones, it's like a little apple pie down the bottom. So that's what I currently have on. But I have two other designs. These remind me of mermaid scales, kind of. Aren't they pretty? Like purple and then it's glitter on the, on the ends. And then these. Oh my god. These are my favorite. Snow White. Holy crap. They just came out with these. And I get mine on eBay. They're pretty cheap on there. And tons of designs. Yeah, they just came out with like um, Disney princess ones and stuff. So I'll be doing those sometime. They last about a week or two. And I use my fingers a lot, you know. Uh, typing, housework, stuff like that. So, But yeah, I, I can't use regular nail polish because it chips in like a hot minute. And it, it, I'm irritated. And then I also tried the gel where you put your fingers under a light, like the UV or LED. And that worked really good. I mean, that would last two weeks, but it just like damaged my nails. And from using the acetone to get them off, my fingers were really dry and peeling and nah. So Jamberry, tons of cool designs. Love them. So, okay. I think that's it. So hopefully by next week, you will see some progress on Electra and Hocus Pocus because man I'm inching ever closer to a finish on that one and probably some haul I'm always having fabric come in because I belong to like 8,500 fabric of the month clubs um but yeah so until next time happy stitching happy stashing and I'll see you next week bye